Johnny, I'm coming to you right now because right. you snuck off earlier, didn't you? I, yes. You I had did. some alone time with this car. You left me and had your <laughs> own alone time. Yeah, I did. Um, I just thought I'd go and have a quick nose around the car. Um, I'm an international man of mystery. Said nobody. <laughs> How glad you said that. Let's see what you got up to. So let's take a closer look inside. Now with a focus on cabin comfort, the seats are half stitch leather, half soft fabric, and they're heated. So when you get in, you're met with a pretty airy, open, clean interior. And by that, I mean, it's quite an uncluttered look. The dash is low and it's quite level, so it's good for visibility. In the middle here, you've got a nine inch touchscreen, but there are physical buttons for the things that you typically use more often, like the heating, air conditioning, demisting, and volume control, which is pretty good. You've got the ignition, power button just here on the right hand side and then you've got a physical button down here for your drive mode which is eco normal or sport next to the electric handbrake and then there's four usbs two here at the front and then there's two at the back for the rear passengers just on behind this armrest here so there's a lot of soft touch furnishings to the dash but in the middle you've got this full width selection of vents bookended by these l-shaped vents and these are a new development from Honda. The idea being they disperse the air a little bit more gently rather than just blasting your face or your feet and that can circulate the air a bit more efficiently in the cabin. Talking of which, let's go in the back. And that spaciousness continues in the rear of the cabin. Back here, we've got a couple of different configurations of cargo space, and this is Honda's so-called magic seat system. Here, we've got what they call the tall seat function. So the bottom swings up, locks out, and you can put things like tall pot plants or big dogs in here. The seats split 60-40 at the back, and both of them go down like this, completely flat. And then if you want to store extra long stuff, you can put the passenger seat right down like this. Then for humans, well, the good news is there's almost a completely flat floor in the HRV. There's actually more space in this HRV than the previous model. Loads of headroom, better legroom, especially for the person sitting in the middle at the back. And again, a feeling of openness and airiness. And the space continues back here with the interior. If I give it a pretend kick, power tailgate goes up and you're greeted with a huge amount of storage space. Very, very useful, good shape. And then I press that and I simply walk away. And there you have it. Johnny, well now I know why you wanted some alone time because you looked <laughs> very in your element right there. <laughs> I like I like good packaging. I like a lot of space. I mean, it, it has got a TARDIS amount of space for the size of the car. When those seats are down, you can fit two full-size mountain bikes in it. Really? You can fit a surfboard in it, and for people that are less adventurous, uh, an ironing board or a lot of wood. Okay, I, I'm doing my deck in. The wood yeah. bit comes in handy then. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. So we've had a look at the inside. Do you want to have a closer look on the outside? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'll start at the front. Well, the grille is quite distinctive, and that's because it's not just a big wedge of black or chrome like a lot of cars are now. It's actually body coloured. Well, I think that's, that's unique. I like that. Above the headlight, you'll see this crease that runs all the way down the side of the car, and it's actually quite straight and clean and uncluttered. Um, and you're, at the back door there, you, you've noticed that the, the door handle's actually recessed and, and quite well hidden. It's a bit like the Honda E model. I quite like the fact that there's that waistline that's, that's flat because the, a lot of cars now, the back door kicks up and it means that there's less window space. Was it like, what did, okay. It kind of goes up like that. <laughs> and if you're a small kid, and I've noticed this from my kids, they can't quite see out of the window and they start to get travel sick. So it's a small thing, but it's actually significant on a long journey. Then that crease goes into the back lights. It's got like this full width, neat light cluster there. And then below that, it's a really kind of flush, recessed, back bumper that I think is quite distinguished. I'm, I'm into that. And actually talking of the lights, this has LEDs all round on the HRV. Wait, do you know, I like the special boot feature. Oh, you like that? I'm all about the boot space. You just press the button and walk, walk away. Yeah, you filled me with so much knowledge. Do you know what? It's so impressive. <laughs> I think I need to go for a sit down.